Redemption can be defined as the action of saving for being saved from sin, error, or evil. The act of atoning for a fault or mistake. Many consider the story of Malcolm X to be one of redemption and accountability, beginning with a life of gambling, drug use, and theft, but eventually rehabilitating turned him into the martyr he is today. Everyone loves a tale of personal accountability. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, no one would have thought the same would apply to Charles S. Dutton, who had been sent to jail on two separate occasions, one after being charged with manslaughter and another instance for robbery and weapon charges. It's safe to say that in his youth, Dutton was headed down the wrong path, but would soon discover acting, which would be the craft that would save his life. If it wasn't for Dutton getting sent to jail, he would have received the discipline necessary for him to become one of the most respected theater actors of his generation. His dignity and integrity have shined through the stage and the screen as everyone's favorite garbage collector, which is why Charles S. Dutton will always be unforgotten. Born in 1951, Charles S. Dutton was born and raised in Baltimore, Maryland in 1967. Upon his parents' divorce, Dutton would go on to live with his truck driving father. Dutton's formal education was short-lived, continuously getting into trouble in reform school. Dutton would go on to drop out of the seventh grade. Charles then tried to get his hands at amateur boxing, further earning the nickname Rock. Dutton's boxing career would not last long as life took a turn for the worse. In 1967, at just the age 16, Charles was involved in a street fight with an older black man. Charles claimed that the man he fought had nearly killed him. Dutton would go on to kill him instead. Charles was charged with manslaughter and sentenced to Jesus Correctional Institute in Maryland. I killed the guy who nearly killed me. I never did anything to anyone who wouldn't have done the same to me. At first, I had no remorse. But then I used to wonder what the guy would look like if he was still living. Would he amount to something? Knowing what he was like then, I know now. Dutton would go on to serve 20 months in jail before returning to prison again for robbery and weapon charges this time serving a three-year sentence in Maryland State Penitentiary. While there, Dutton would end up getting stabbed by another prisoner and nearly died, however, Dutton's juvenile streak did not end there. One day, some inmates argued over which TV show they wanted to watch. An inmate would go on to stab Dutton in the neck with an ice pick. According to the Washington Post, the blade plunged into his lungs, leading to one of them becoming collapsed. Luckily, the blade missed his arteries, although he nearly bled to death. While there, Dutton would go on to read Mal, Marx, and Malcolm X, becoming a Black Panther himself. Dutton believes this moment was his initial salvation, although it wouldn't be the last time he got in trouble in jail. The Washington Post stated that one day a guard kept Dutton from seeing a visitor. Upset, Dutton challenged him to a fistfight. The guard would eventually press charges, earning Charles an additional eight years in prison. Dutton later said, I got three years for killing a black man and eight for punching a white man. Dutton's growth came in his loneliest hours after refusing to clean toilets. Charles was sentenced to three days in solitary confinement. During his time in isolation, the veteran actor obtained an anthology of black playwrights. Upon his release from solitary, Dutton petitioned the warden to start a drama group for the Winter Talent Show. When I got out of isolation the last time, I knew what I wanted to do while I was in prison. I got together 10, 11 guys, and we started this little drama group, and I directed The Day of Absence, not knowing a damn thing about directing, and I played the lead. The warden agreed only if Dutton would go back to school and get his GED. While in jail, Dutton accomplished just that, and completed a two-year college program at Hagerstown Junior College graduating with an associate arts degree in 1976. After serving seven and a half years since initially getting incarcerated, Charles was released in 1976. Instead of dropping a fire mixtape like we see in today's time, Dutton would go on to attend Tolson State University. He later became a part of the Baltimore Theater Company. Dutton's Can't Stop Won't Stop Momentum was accepted in Yale's drama school in 1983. It was at Yale that Dutton would go on to meet his mentor and playwright, August Wilson. In just 16 years, Charles S. Dutton had escaped the criminal path that many impoverished black men are drawn to for a road less traveled, from thug to thespian. 
Dutton's debut into the spotlight came in 1984, starring in his mentors August Wilson's play, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. The play opened up at the Yale Repertory Theater in 1984 until moving to Broadway. The New York Times in 1984 stated, it's no small feat that Mr. Dutton's levy matches her blow for blow. Only a year out of Yale's drama school, this young actor brings the audience to a deathly silence in a bitter, corrosive speech that ignites the play's climax. Dutton would go on to be nominated for a Tony Award, Best Performance by a Featured Actor in a Play. Dutton would go on to be nominated for his second Tony Award in 1990 for Best Actor in the Piano Lesson, written by, again, August Wilson. After the success of Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, Charles S. Dutton became his takeover of the silver screen, making his debut in Stephen King's Cat Eye before going on to appear in the 80s classics like Miami Vice, Crocodile Dundee 2, and The Equalizer. In 1989, after dating for five years, Dutton went on to marry Ease Bayou actress Debbie Morgan. Debbie went on to describe her attraction to Dutton. I learned that he had spent all of his time in prison, and it might sound crazy, but there was something that was sort of seductive to me about that. Morgan further added, Charles' quiet dangerous became like a drug to her. From the moment Dutton was released from solitary confinement, his life had been a theatrical train with only one destination and zero stops. Charles' dedication to his craft helped free him from the streets by the start of the 1990s. Dutton went on to star alongside Denzel Washington in Mississippi, Masala. In August of 1991, Charles S. Dutton received the opportunity to lead his own television series, Rock airing on Fox. At the time, Rock would be one of Charles's most personal works. The show was set in Dutton's hometown of Baltimore, Maryland, with the show's title character modeled after a real-life sanitation worker in the Baltimore community, John Wood. Dutton would further note, it was actually an easier task for me to play the character because I knew the inspiration was from a real person. I didn't have to invent anything or imagine. The history was all there. Rock starring Dutton chronicled the ups and downs of Baltimore garbage collector Charles Rock Emerson, alongside his graveyard working nurse, wife played by Ella Joyce. His retired father, Carl Gordon, and Rock's womanizing freeloader brother, Rocky Carroll. Each of the supportive actors had previously acted alongside Dutton in the piano lesson a year prior. Dutton insisted on choosing his cast. I didn't want this show to be a negative image of black people intentionally. I wanted to project an image of strength and intelligence and heart and also a warrior-like image. This family didn't take no crap and they were concerned about the community, he said. Rock Emerson, a good-natured Baltimore trash worker trying to make life better for himself and his family. The series provided moments of laughter between Dutton's title character and his family unit. However, the underlining tone and commentary of Rock was geared to address socioeconomic issues affecting the black community, such as gang activities, violence among youths, the consequences of drug use on childbirth, and the trials of African Americans in the United States. Rock even went on to make history by airing one of television's first gay weddings. The series featured a staple of black entertainers, both cemented or on the rise with appearances from Jamie Foxx, Kim Fields, Loretta Devine, Richard Roundtree, Clifton Powell, Samuel L. Jackson. Famed director Stan Lathan even stepped onto the set to direct for season two and three. Rock was critically acclaimed. Charles S. Dutton would go on to win an NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Actor in a Comedy Series and Emmy nominations for the camera work. During Rock's time on air, Dutton would go on to feature in Aliens 3, Distinguished Gentlemen, Menace to Society, Rudy, and Low Down Dirty Shane. Charles S. Dutton had fully left his criminal past behind, living life as an accomplished despian in theater, film, and television. Regardless of the times, nothing lasts forever, not even the good ones. And by 1994, Dutton filed for divorce from his wife, Debbie Morgan, later telling her, I never could have made you happy because I'm not worth it to be anybody's husband. Within the same year, Fox would go on to cancel Rock after 72 episodes, citing the show had low viewership, although it remained consistent with ratings amongst black viewers. When speculating on the cancellation, Dutton stated, they always wanted us to be more funny. He said, be more funny. 
That's my frustration with Fox. If it were up to them, we'd all be buffoons, always laughing. Well, I commend Fox for putting us on for three reasons. They wanted us to be colorless, to leave our race at the door. How do you do that? According to a 1994 Jet Magazine article, 29 members of the Congressional Black Caucus had asked the Fox Network to save the series from cancellation. But Dutton would address the attempt to renew the show by saying, The show has been canceled whether Fox wants to fess up to it now or not. This is just further proof, in my opinion, that what little quality that's left on American television is reserved solely for white people. It's reflective of the 40-year history of television. Black people are still confined to the buffoon zone between 8 and 9. If they dispute me, just watch television after 9 p.m. and count the number of black people you see. My problem isn't with other black shows, some of which are dumb and degrading. My beef is with the industry. The only thing I'm asking the industry to do is show balance and diversity of image. Dutton's show was canceled, but he, much like his record, was far from being expunged. The Rock actor continued to act in TV series, theater, and independent films. In 2000, Dutton would get the opportunity to direct the HBO miniseries, The Corner. The Corner traced the lives of a black family living in West Baltimore, combating poverty and open-air drug sales plaguing the community. Dutton would go on to win an Emmy for Outstanding Directing for a miniseries, movie or special. The success of The Corner is what led writer David Simon to further write and produce The Wire. Following after, Dutton would go on to win two more Emmys for Outstanding Guest Actor for The Practice in 2002 and Without a Trace in 2003. Within the same year, he continued his theatrical acting, reprising his role as Levy in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom in 2003 and touring in the play The Exonerated. From the dark hole of confinement to the Hollywood lights, Dutton evolved into a virtuous thespian. Charles S. Dutton continues his stride in acting and directing well into the 2010s. Throughout his career, Dutton acted in over 110 movies and TV shows while directing seven. Now, at the age of 71, it appears that Dutton has unofficially retired from Hollywood. His last credited role was a short film in 2016 called Veneration. The previous year, Dutton would take part in five different projects, including Bessie, who he co-starred alongside Queen Latifah and Monique. Not only will Dutton be remembered for his class, poise, and authority on screen, but his life story is one of redemption that many should be inspired by. Charles S. Dutton, a man who would not be the sum of his errors and found a way to achieve a higher path which is why Charles S. Dutton will always remain unforgotten.